This is Sylvia Saber with OPTV Global Headlines. Starting with the top international stories for the day. The UN World Food Program has said people are being starved to death in the besieged Ukrainian city of Mariupol. WFP also warned that Russia's offensive could trigger waves of migrants seeking better lives elsewhere. Israeli troops have fired tear gas and stunned grenades at worshippers inside Al-Aqsa Mosque in occupied East Jerusalem. The storming of Islam's third holiest site sparked violent clashes between Israeli troops and Palestinians. Amnesty International has condemned the demolition of Muslim-owned property across several Indian cities this week. Global Rights Group called for a thorough, impartial and transparent investigation. Iran has started making components for machines used to enrich uranium. U International Atomic Energy Agency has completed installing surveillance cameras at the new site. Up next, we have the national updates. Ambassador of Hungary to Pakistan met Chief of Army Staff General Kamar Javed Bajwa at General Headquarters. Matters of mutual interest and measures to enhance bilateral defense collaboration between the two countries were discussed during the meeting. Services Public Relations Director General Major General Babar Iftikhar has clarified that word conspiracy was not used in the statement issued by the National Security Committee. DG ISPR said Army's chief does not want an extension and United States also did not demand military bases on any level. Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif has decided to include all the coalition parties in the new federal cabinet. The PMLN would have a majority of 12 members in the new cabinet. Prime Minister of Azad Jammu and Kashmir, Sardar Abdul Qayyum Khan Niazi, has sent his resignation from his position to President Dr. Arif Alvi. Abdul Qayyum Khan said that he has been accused of violating merit and good governance and he decided to resign in a dignified manner. Eight soldiers were martyred in two terrorist attacks in North Waziristan. The ISPR has yet to confirm the attack. Bilkis Banu Eidhi, the wife of Pakistani humanitarian and philanthropist Abdul Sattar Eidhi, has been hospitalized over blood pressure problem. First Lady of Pakistan Tehmina Durrani visited Bilkis at the hospital. Ministry of National Health Services has given the assurance that a change in government won't affect the medical facilitation being provided under the Sehat Sahulat program. The Health Ministry rubbished all the speculations about the fate of the Sehat Guard facility. Kaba Fusion is a pharmacist-owned, patient-focused team of professionals with over 30 years' experience providing intravenous medication to pediatric and adult patients in the comfort and safety of their own home. Founded by Dr. Sohail Masood, a pioneer in the home infusion industry and recipient of Ernst & Young's Entrepreneur of the Year Award, Kaba Fusion has 28 state-of-the-art compounding pharmacies across the country with service capabilities nationwide. Specializing in IVIG, SCIG, and acute therapies, our highly skilled infusion nurses are present throughout your treatment and our clinicians are on call 24 hours a day. Please visit us at kabafusion.com for more information. Up next we have the health updates. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration has granted emergency use for the first ever COVID-19 diagnostic test using breath samples. Through Inspect IR COVID-19 breath analyzer, the test can be performed in environments where the patient's specimen is both collected and analyzed. Up next, we have the updates on science and technology. Israel has successfully tested new laser missile defense systems. Laser system would be part of an efficient, inexpensive and innovative protection umbrella. Up next we have the sports updates. 
Pakistan opening batsman Shah Masood has created history with his double century in county championship. The left-hander reached his double century in 271 deliveries which included 22 boundaries. Up next we have the entertainment updates. Pakistan's rising star Alize Shah stunned her fans by physical transformation. The 21-year-old stunner dropped some snaps after following a strict fitness regime of weight loss. Ranbir Kapoor and Alia Bhatta finally tied the knot in an intimate ceremony. Fellow stars Karina and Karisma Kapoor, Katrina Kaif, Karan Johar, Moni Roy, Neha Dupia, and Anya Pandey have wished the new couple. California's Coachella Music Festival has returned after three years' hiatus. The Mammoth event features Billie Eilish, Harry Styles, and Weekend with EDM stars Swedish House Mafia. Up next, we have the business updates. The price of petrol is set to cross rupees 200 per liter for the first time in the history of Pakistan. Sources said the Oil and Gas Regulatory Authority has proposed rupees 83.50 per liter price hike in petrol. Pakistan's remittances reached historic high of $2.8 billion in March. Workers' remittances stayed above $2 billion for a record 22nd consecutive month. Cumulatively, remittances amounted to $23 billion during the first nine months of the current fiscal year. Kaba Fusion is a pharmacist-owned, patient-focused team of professionals with over 30 years' experience providing intravenous medication to pediatric and adult patients in the comfort and safety of their own home. Founded by Dr. Sohail Masood, a pioneer in the home infusion industry and recipient of Ernst & Young's Entrepreneur of the Year Award, Kaba Fusion has 28 state-of-the-art compounding pharmacies across the country with service capabilities nationwide. Specializing in IVIG, SCIG, and acute therapies, our highly skilled infusion nurses are present throughout your treatment and our clinicians are on call 24 hours a day. Please visit us at kabafusion.com for more information.